Well, after a surprise inspection at the D.C. jail found what the U.S. Marshal Service called systemic failures in unlivable conditions, today members of the media were allowed to go inside for the first time since the revelations became public. News 4's Mark Seagraves was there and spoke with inmates. This is what we are allowed to see today inside the D.C. jail, members of the press taken on a very restricted tour. The D.C. jail has long been a source of problems for the D.C. government. By all accounts, the facility is outdated and in need of a replacement. But a national spotlight was focused on the jail after defendants charged in the deadly riots at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, who were being held here, began complaining about the conditions. That led the U.S. Marshal Service to conduct a surprise inspection in mid-October. That inspection found what the U.S. Marshal called systemic failures, including inmates being punished by having food and water withheld, having the water turned off in their cells. The inspection also found human waste and raw sewage in overflowing toilets, as well as rampant drug use. Today, the district's deputy mayor for public safety disputed the findings by the U.S. Marshal. Do things break? Yes, they do. Is it an aging facility? Yes, it is. Do we do everything? We have on-site contractors here every day to do fixes when things happen. Members of the press were not allowed to take any pictures inside the two areas of the jail found to have the most problems, nor were reporters allowed to talk to inmates in those areas. After complaints from reporters, the press were allowed to see two cells that were not being used. They did have running water and working toilets. The few inmates we were allowed to speak with said the conditions in the areas where they were being held are good, but this inmate said he was housed for a while in the areas that were problematic. Hot in the summer without uh, no air conditioning, uh, hot, cold in the winter with no heat, um, you know, where you have to wear four layers of clothes to, to keep them warm. As for the allegations by the U.S. Marshal that corrections officers withheld food and turned off the water as punishment, the director of the D.C. Department of Corrections denied those allegations as well, adding none of his staff had been disciplined as a result of the Marshal's surprise inspection. No uh, discipline has not occurred. Again, the humanity of how we operate as a facility at the end of the day, we care deeply about the men and women that's in our care. The Bowser administration is awaiting a final report from the U.S. Marshals. So far, about 200 federal inmates have been transferred to another facility because of the findings of the surprise inspection. At the D.C. jail, Mark Seagraves, News 4.